shirt, man. Yeah. Hey, my name is Mark and Jemmy. I'm from Western yeah. Pennsylvania. I came out here to Tahoe, California to run the inaugural Tahoe Lake 200 mile endurance run. Uh, a little bit about me, I did my first 100 miler last year. Two weeks after doing my first 100 miler, I decided that I heard about this race, 200 miles. I had a whole extra year to train. I figured why not 100, 100 more miles a year later. Let's kind of do it, right? So uh, I trained for a whole year. I did uh, I did about 12 ultras this year leading up to the Tahoe Rim 200 miler, uh, including a 100 miler just two weeks ago. My shoe of choice all season was Hoka's. I ran in Hoka's all season. I uh, started the Tahoe Rim Trail in it and they absolutely did not work <laughs> for the uh, for the Tahoe Rim Trail. The Hoka's just were not working. I was kicking rocks. I was breaking my feet. Uh, it was just absolutely miserable. At mile 120-ish, what I actually decided to do is I had my crew come down out here to the store, uh, Tahoe Mountain Sports and uh, buy me a pair of Ultra Olympuses. I needed something that was uh, a lot more cushion. I needed something that would give me more ground feel. I needed something that would allow me to bounce and jump over the rocks a little bit more. And they worked really, really well. Um, I started off in a size 10. The Olympuses I ran in from mile 120 to 170 were a size 11 and a half. And they, uh, that just shows you how much my feet swell, and they worked really well for that. Uh, the unfortunate thing was is I did not train with a zero drop shoe. I trained in the Hoka's all season long. So although they got me through those 50 miles really good, you know, saving my feet pretty well, um, I still needed something even bigger and more durable for the last push of the, uh, of the race and the run. So I was really desperate. I was sleeping in a van at, uh, at mile 170 at four o'clock in the morning and I get out of the back of my van and my pacer is standing there and I don't want to put the Olympuses back on. I don't want to put my Hoka's back on. What am I, uh, what am I to do? Well, one of my crew, one of my pacers had a pair of Merrill hiking boots on and I figured I just ran 170 miles. I will walk the last 30 if I have to in a pair of hiking boots. Uh, just because I needed something that would allow me to basically kick every single rock out of my way for the last 30 miles because I simply could not lift up my legs high enough to really get around them. So that's exactly what I did. I, uh, I put a size 11 Merrill hiking boot on, or 11 and a half Merrill hiking boot on, and I ran the last 30 miles faster than I ran any 30 miles of the entire race in these things. I don't know if it was just whether this old horse smelled the stable or whether I was just, uh, they, they worked that well is actually what happened. Uh, I kicked every rock out of my way it didn't matter what I hit my foot was just bouncing right off them and going right back onto the trail it was beautiful I actually did a 730 and an 830 mile out of ride out and a pair of hiking boots and uh, I mean with these heels I was heel toe in every rock it, it was just it was great so these worked out really well I have uh, a big thank you to Tahoe Mountain Sports they helped me get geared up before the race during the race here I am after the race buying more gear so uh, I, I seriously can't thank them enough and uh, you know, I used Hoka's, I used Olympuses, but the Merrill boot is actually what saved my race, and I wouldn't have finished without these. So, it's a little bit about me. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks.